Engineer. Yeah, I suppose that's engineer. Yes. Engineer. In here there is uh, edible oil, there is uh, 4 kgs of corn flour, there is 2 kgs of rice and beans. Uh, and we keep appealing, continue appealing to Kenyans, well-wishers. If you have anything to donate to victims of, uh, uh, of the floods that affected the country, most parts of the country, please just donate it here at Chungo House and we are ready to receive it. We will distribute it in public in full glare of camera so that everyone knows that every donation reaches to the affected victims. So we continue appealing to you, please donate. Chumbo House is open. We'll receive it and we'll donate it to the needy families. Thank you. What do you have to say? Yeah, uh, it's a good moment for us. Let us be our brother's keepers and let us also stand with the less fortunate in society. And now that uh, we are in this particular process, we pray that uh, all well wishes will continue contributing here at Chungwaus so that you can donate to the affected families. Thank you. 
I think we can start. Yes. Yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, uh, good morning to the ODM fraternity and all the guests and partners that we have here today. Uh, we are here because as a party. We have been very concerned uh, with the kind of uh, lack of dignity that our people have been subjected to by the ongoing uh, floods and uh, the disaster crisis that we are seeing in the country. So as a party, we deem it fit to come up with an initiative to stand with Kenyans and be able to uh, support where we can. We do recognize as a party that uh, initiatives that are geared towards uh, charitable actions are limited and therefore sometimes sustaining them are difficult but we want to be very grateful for the people who have been able to support us to get some form of uh, aid that uh, today marks the day when we are going to start distributing and supporting different families. We made appeal for uh, non-food and food items and the response has been amazing. Uh, this committee is, made, is a nine-member committee uh, that uh, most committee members are here and uh, some are not here. I'll, I'll just recognize the ones that are here. We have got Senator Amida Kibwana, uh, who is uh, a member of the committee. We have got uh, uh, Imwatok, uh, who is uh, the majority leader for Nairobi County. We have got uh, Honorable Nazra, also MCA in Nairobi. We have got uh, uh, um, Commissioner Mishimboko, who is also uh, a member of the committee. And uh, then we have got uh, uh, Muzungu is uh, there. Uh, but I, I, you can take a screenshot of the, the membership uh, right here. But what I wanted to emphasize is that what you are seeing here in terms of the aid that we have received so far, this has been internal by this committee. And uh, you can imagine that if the committee alone was able to fill our stores, and you can visit our stores and see, you can imagine when we start now getting out and uh, having the entire fraternity being able to support. So uh, the most important thing is that what we are intervening in, in terms of uh, this crisis, is a very difficult crisis because there are families that have been displaced in some areas. They don't have housing or shelter. So that sometimes even giving food is difficult when you haven't even thought about their shelter. And that is why the concepts like uh, giving cash to be able to have them even just get shelter is a very important one. Now, as a party, we do recognize that we have got our own limitation in terms of uh, thinking about identifying the real families that have got the biggest problems. And that is why we have partnered with uh, the Kenya Red Cross to be able to help us in terms of data management and being able to reach out to the most vulnerable communities that need different intervention here and there. So with that, without uh, uh, so wasting so much time, I would uh, invite uh, the SG of uh, Red Cross, who is helping us in terms of just thinking about that particular logistics, um, to be able to actually share with us a, a few remarks, and then I'll let uh, our party leadership also share with you the bigger vision in terms of how we are planning to uh, roll this across the country. SG. Thank you. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good 
So first, it's quite an honor to join the leadership of Nairobi County here in Nairobi uh, to discuss the ongoing humanitarian situation. As the Kenya Red Cross, an impartial and neutral humanitarian organization, will be working with everyone who is on board, who is willing to help in reaching out to the affected population, wherever they may be. We've had an excellent discussion with the ODM party in terms of what strategies to use to reach the most affected people, and we will work together to provide and deliver an impartial and neutral services to all affected population. As we speak, the rains may have stopped in Nairobi and it is looking bright and shiny, but the, in terms of the displacement situation around the country, we still have quite a number of families in displacement camps. And these are families who are in need of your support, in need of urgent medication, in need of food, in need of um, other forms of support, including shelter. We've also had a discussion with the ODM leadership around what other mechanisms we can use to support early recovery and permanent recovery, especially in form of shelter to the affected population. At the end of the day, we hope that we are going to plug this into the national uh, response mechanism so that we avoid duplication and then we also uh, use the advantages of uh, being able to distribute food and reach the affected population in a very coordinated manner. Ours is to thank you on behalf of the Kenya Red Cross for the faith you've extended uh, to us and to the organization, and we will work with you hand in hand. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I think that uh, I will invite the ED of the party just to give us a brief on in terms of the plans that we have. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the areas that we are targeting this week and next week, and then we keep on uh, briefing you on a rolling basis, depending on the kind of aid that we have received uh, going forward. Edi. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Senator Chairman. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as the Chair said, we as a party, when Kenyans are happy, we are happy. When Kenyans are in distress, we stand with them. And that is the spirit behind this initiative. I want, on behalf of the party, to thank the members of the committee. The nine of them, as you can see, have been able internally to mobilize whatever we have at the moment. And today, we are making an appeal to the public now. You don't have to be an ODM member or supporter. You just have to be Kenyan. You just have to sympathize to be your sisters or brother's keeper. That is what we are appealing to Kenyans to do. Now, mine is simple. It's just to give you a schedule of the distribution. Tomorrow, tomorrow in the afternoon, we have scheduled a distribution in Madare constituency in Nairobi County. Then Thursday, that is the 16th, we will be in Mavoko, that is uh, Machakos County. Then next week, we will go to Maimahiu in Kiambu County, followed by Nyando in Kisumu County, and then uh, Budalangi, in Bus in Bu uh, Budalangi and Teso in Busia County. The remainder of the schedule will be released uh, because we also have to monitor the amount of uh, resources we do have. And therefore, we are appealing, if you want us to cover the whole Kenya, then please uh, come to the assistance of Kenyans. Thank you. Now, SG, you can take over the program. Uh, thank you, Edi. Uh, I want to take this opportunity